also wear safety equipment too, like your gloves. And you have usually have my safety glasses, you know, just prepping the floor and gloves ready. When I usually do it, prep the floor. I go around and make sure we don't have paper clips on the floor, stuff like that, because that'll cause when you wax the floor, your final project, it will show up in your wax, and you don't want that. So I'll actually go around and make sure everything is nice and clean all around the corners, the edges, make sure there's nothing, hair, again, especially Dude. paper clips. Dude. Especially paper clips. And make sure you get everything up off the floor. Once you prep it, then you add your stripper and water to prepare your floor for the machine to do the scrubbing for you. So you just take it, add your stripper down to the floor, go around the corners real good, so you make sure you get everything. So as the stripper's sitting, it's eating through the wax and the dirt of the floor, so when you run a buffer machine on it, it could uh, you know, cut the excess up from the wax. And you can add it at the end, you know, product of what I just showed you from the from the from the last room which this is going to be the finished product I did the prepping of the floor sweeping sweeping off the paper clips whatever was on the floor preparing it putting the stripper down letting it sit run the machine on it make sure everything is nice and clean for process so now this is the finished process which it takes a long time for the wax to dry anywhere from an hour to 45 minutes just for the wax to dry for one coat. That's why it takes so long and people wonder why. It's a process. It's not just going on mopping and throwing the wax down and gone. It's not that easy. If it was that easy, everybody would do it. But it takes a special skill to do it.